there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of PS Plus Freebies here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we are looking at Azken 2. I have no idea what the fuck this game's about. From what I could tell uh, from a quick look around, 10 tons obviously have a lot of games on my channel so far because they keep releasing ones. Um, a lot of these are, feel like mobile ports that have actually been put across to the PS4, which is absolutely fine and cool. In fact, I enjoy some of 10 ton games. Uh, they actually responded to a video I posted up for one of their, um, the, the Space Invaders style kind of like shoot 'em up uh, the other day and fair play to them. They defended their game and made a point because I got upset about the fact that I had to replay a chapter and they corrected me saying that you can replay the chapter. You don't have to replay the chapter, but I was just slightly annoyed that, um, you, by replaying the chapter, you erase your progress that you previously had on it, and therefore you don't have, you can't replay levels to, I said you spam or upgrade your equipment by knowing how many things are going to come at you, which was a little bit of a disappointment for me, but I'm sure there's actually, like, once you complete the whole game, you can go back and do that, but the whole push is to progress yourself further on. That's actually a little um, comment just in reference to that previous video. If you want to go and see that, um, I'll tag it at the end of the video, this video for you to go and see it, or it'll be in the playlist somewhere nearby, but um, yeah. I'm, I'm annoyed at myself for not figuring that out, but at the same time as I appreciate them for pointing it out to me so that I could tell you guys now. But yes, so 10 tons limited, as can too. I have no idea what this is. It feels like it could be, a, like from what I could see in screenshots, a little bit of Hexic with a little bit of Match 3 with a little bit of um, Galaxy? Gal was it Puzzle Quest Galactrix or Puzzle Quest? So, yeah. The world beneath Azkent 2. Menu screen doesn't look massively impressive. It does. It, this does feel like it was a mobile app, just even with the text and fonts. So let, let's take a quick look at this. I just want to see what the an extra sound, music, and controller. Let me make sure we get the audio levels right. Now that's one of the problems I've had with a couple of um, ten tons games is that the audio was a bit <laughs> all over the place. Uh, is that you know? I keep the voiceovers on. Keep the tutorials on. Controller sensitivity, sound volume, all looks about right. Controls are going to be simple. Hold to make a match. Okay, so this is a matching game. Let's see what the adventure awaits in Azken 2. The world below, or the world beneath. A few hours ago. Ten Tons presents Azken 2. Liverpool to New York. Repairing the binoculars. There is something strange on the horizon. I must repair the binoculars to find out more. Okay. How do we repair them? String together three or more items to make matches. <gasps> it's a match three! Oh! Mm. Okay, so bop, bop, bop. Ah, right, you draw a line for each one of them. This is going to be a bollock in comparison to actually playing it on, like, a tablet, because the tablet is just going to go whoop, 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 and you're done. With this, you have to do a line draw with a thumbstick. I mean, even if you could actually... Oh, you can! Oh, there we go. So you can use the trackpad on your um, controller, which is, to be honest, very, 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 very few fucking games use this goddamn trackpad. So, I can respect. I got respect. I got respect for anybody who actually goes to bother. Oh, do we need to? Do, wait, do we need to do that four times? Oh, oh, okay. So. Burp, burp, burp. Uh, so as long as they connect, it actually doesn't matter. So bup, bup, bup. And bup, 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 bup. Ah, so the more lines you can make, the better it goes. Doop, doop, doop. Doop, 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 doop. So make the biggest line you can around the map, I suppose, is the best way to go. It. The bigger the line you make, the more points you make. And uh closer you are to completing it. So one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Boom! Awesome. Uh, and that put, makes, puts one of them on the map there. Awesome, that's great. So what do we need to do now? Um, I need to do this. Whoop, whoop, 
Boop, boop. And... And I grab you from here. And do that, 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 that. Am I trying to get that all the way to the bottom, am I? I'm not too sure. Alright, one, two, three, four. Ah, that's what it was, so I needed to get that to the bottom of the screen. That makes sense. So, as a match three game, this is reasonably simple. It's, um, I could see where the, the popularity of it is in uh, online games or on um, mobile. I don't see myself playing this for too long, but I could easily see it eating a lot of my time. Ah, the magic does that. Let's grab that. Bop, 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 bop. Isn't that effective? And if we go over that, dot, 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 brings all those down there. And that's dot, 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 dot. And if we get this out of the way. Boom. Oh, no, I messed that up. Oh, wait, hang on. I've got this. Ah, oh, wait. No, I didn't. I messed that up. <laughs> and let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Does this do a full line? Yes, it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Boom! Electrocute all those motherfuckers. So uh, we grab that, go that, 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 that. It brings them all along there. Um, damn, I'd have actually screwed a couple of my pooches here. But if I do this right, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. And watch how that disappears. Woo! <laughs> I'm horribly, horribly, easily gratified by playing this the way I am. Uh, so the chaining of them together works so well for um, just <laughs> getting a gratifying kind of clear out of the screen. No. Simple gameplay, but simple can be very, very entertaining when done in the right way. And this isn't bad by any stretch of imagination. I just, I, it's again, I still feel like this should be on a tablet. In fact, do you know what this should be on? This should be on the Vita. I'm pretty sure this game must have, I must have, whenever I download this, I'm pretty sure it did a Vita version, and the Vita version is going to be fun to play because of uh, having a nice touchscreen to work with. Utilize. Well, I can use lightning powers. Yeah, that's what I did the first time. Why does it tell me to do those three? Ah! I wanted to do the big long killer chain, because that's that, 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 that. Get you guys out of the way. One, two, 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 two. Ah! Barrels! There's one sitting in the middle of it. Never mind. Well, I'll use this now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's do this around. Two, do, 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 do. Hmm. Get five across here. Five across the eyes. So frustrated whenever there's one like right there in front of you, I'm like, oh god damn it! Oh shit! There we go. Take it down. I'll take it down. Just do a loop around. Boom! Okay, so if I kill these three, that should connect all of these up. Alright, let's see. Ah! No, oh, damn you. There we go. <laughs> uh, if only I could kill. Uh, that's annoying. Is there any way to get one down there? Nah. Right. 
Four, 14. Oh, there we go. That actually felt good. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, so we managed to fix our binoculars. <laughs> so what is the adventure now onwards? Um, what is this? Instead active power-up. Uh, finds isolated pieces from the board and removes them. So each one of these collected uh, adventure bits as well does uh, gives a power-up. See, having these extra things makes it interesting. I can understand why. You get to it, girl. Your ability to actually pick out seashells, dino bones, and ember is so good, it can make things repair themselves. This is beautiful. I, I love it. So this this definitely has the feel of the, uh, a hidden object game. And I've, if you've not been watching the channel lately, I really do enjoy me my hidden object games. But it's the mini games that, uh, that really intrigue me whenever you can't find the hidden object. In the particular case of the... Um, Artifacts Monday games I've been playing. There was one that actually had a uh, match to Mahjong game that you played. If you took this game, applied it to the storytelling and the world of one of those Artifacts Monday games, I'd be really intrigued. I think the guys from Ten Tones need to talk to Artifacts Monday and say, you go like, hey, hey, I, we, we got this thing. You got the stories. You got the art. And we got this thing. I mean... Could we? And then Artifacts Money go like, go away! We've already had that idea! We've already done it in like half of our games! So uh, yeah, find the details. Your goal is to find all the details shown in the viewfinder. The viewfinder is located in the top right of the screen next to the arrow. Find as many details as you can before the time runs out. The more you find, the greater your reward. Really? Are you essentially just trying to play Artifacts Monday? Wait, what? Oh, it's actually getting me to find... Oh, it's punishing me for actually guessing? Oh, you cheeky bitch. So, I have to... Oh, God damn it. I don't like being punished for uh, guessing. But my eyesight is effective enough to be able to tell when things are here. Uh... So it's definitely in the waterline. Is that it? Oh, there we go. Got it. And that's got to be one of those. Oh! So you pick up skills? Okay. So is that like a bonus that I was getting? Seems weird. No power up received in that. So we just kick that. And we move on to the compass. All right. So, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm just going to... I I like the Artifacts Monday games. I can see where this is going. I can see how I could find plenty of time and enjoyment out of this. It's a good time sink of a game of a little bit of adventure. I, I get lost in games like Puzzle Quest. I get lost in games like... Um, well, I don't, I'm trying to think of actually other games that really do this. The Artifacts Monday games do a really good job essentially taking what I like about point and click games and then turn them into story elements with hidden object finding while doing this um, kind of like gives me that little pick satisfaction of matching up things so I know this talks to me in a very intrinsic way there's something inside me that actually like clicks with these games I don't know about you but um, this is actually the game that I honestly thought I wasn't going to like at all didn't care about didn't know what it was before I even started, but so far it's actually kind of like got me slightly hyped and entertained, and um, I could see myself playing plenty of time of this. So thanks very much for watching, guys. This has been a PS Plus freebie for the month of January 2017. Get your ass into this game. It's for free. If you, if you, I wouldn't have bought this game on the store by any stretch of imagination just by the basic sight of it. But Ten Ton Games have con consistently entertained me with all of their releases so far. I'm not shocked they actually make decent games, but it's more the fact that they jump genres from game to game so quickly that um, they just take an old game, iterate it in their own way, and then move on to the next one. And I gotta gotta say, I enjoy the hell out of it, even if they're mobile platform kind of like a design basics or 
not really fixed for PS4, but if I was playing on mobile, I'd probably be playing the hell out of these games. So uh, if you haven't got the chance to play this on PlayStation 4, go and check it out on your local Google Play and uh, Apple Store. I'm sure it's sitting there as well. So yeah, thanks very much for the guys from 10 Ton Games for actually releasing another cool game. And for this time putting it on PS Plus. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed me gushing about 10 Ton Games and playing this for a little while, you can hit the subscribe button up there and it'll actually make sure you know about every single video that comes out in this channel as they come out. And if you click over here, the videos over here are uh, examples of stuff that I've already done here on the channel or done on previous videos and it'd be a bit of a mix and match but you'll see other things that are not game commentary if this isn't your thing but if you've watched all the way through to this point of a video I'm pretty sure you this is what you're into so uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video bye